Hello, everybody. Jason Eggert here with Edmentum. Thanks for taking a look at this uh, short video clip here today. I'm talking exact path with you again. Um, today is um, the day to take a look at our content search functionality uh, within exact path. Again, exact path is our K through 12 individualized learning program has that norm reference adaptive diagnostic gives the kids a personalized learning path based on the results uh, and their strengths and weaknesses. So uh, it does all of that automatically, right? Based on their performance on either our diagnostic within the program or from NWEA, Renaissance Star results. Um, but uh, one way that uh, teachers can supplement and push out uh, content to the kids is through the content search and then the um, assigning content functionality. So I wanna walk you through how to do that here. So up along the top, here's our home screen uh, for Ms. Sanchez, who's a first grade teacher. Uh, so we take a look here. Up at the top, you've got your black navigation bar, my classes, right underneath there is content search. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. It's gonna load up our content. You can search by standard if you want to, but I'm actually gonna search by skill and I'm gonna take a look at reading. And remember, Ms. Sanchez is a first grade teacher. So maybe um, what she's looking at is reading literature and she wants to see, well, what's available in exact path uh, to be able to supplement the instruction that the students are receiving. So, uh, you know, again, she can see uh, uh, this particular um, uh, reading literature, uh, the standard that it's connected to um, from this screen. She's able to preview any of the content. She can see all of the other content that's available. There's worksheets and answer keys connected to those worksheets that are available. Uh, she can see that this one is a first grade uh, reading for um, uh, reading literature here, uh, 1.2, standard 1.2. So again, all the skills connected to the common core standards. So uh, one other thing I wanted to show you is that there are SI topics, study island topics. So if you have a study island account, you can preview that content and it'll take you right to your login page for study island and it'll, it'll show you how this particular uh, standard is addressed within Study Island as well. So I'm gonna scroll back up here to the top and we're just gonna take a look here. Remember, a uh, teacher can, Ms. Sanchez can preview any of the content right from this page. So if I click on the lesson, she wants to get an idea as to what a day in the park is. Learn to ask and answer questions about important parts of a story. She can preview this right from the screen. Perhaps she wants to use this in small group instruction. Maybe she wants to use it up on the, uh, 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 with a projector up on the board uh, to go through with whole group. But again, this is where she can preview that content. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of there. So let's say that she takes a look at this. Uh, she takes a look at the practice activity and the mastery quiz and says, you know what, this is something that I want to assign to all of my students. So we're gonna call this a day in the park. Reading literature R uh, L. 1.1, I think was the standard number, right? So again, maybe Ms. Sanchez is really focused on I can statements um, uh, connected to the Common Core standards, right? Wants the students to be able to own what it is that they're learning. Uh, so you can title that anything that she wants to. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna give the students a week to complete this assignment. I'm gonna choose Ms. Sanchez's class. And right here from this screen, I can select all of the students. And I can go ahead and hit that blue assign button. And then you're gonna get the confirmation page. And then from here, I can actually go right to the teacher assignments and get a feel uh, for all of the assignments that I've created and how the students are doing. Uh, so I can take a look here. I can see that this was one uh, that was assigned a while back and uh, specific to some students here. And But from this page, I'd be able to see again, when the students started it, when they completed it, how much time did they spend on task and uh, review each student's performance. So if that's something that Ms. Sanchez is working on, individual goal setting conversations with the kids, Kids. Um, that's something that uh, some, some information that Ms. Sanchez can certainly use from that page. And then what I would like to do here now is I'm going to sign out and I'm going to log in as one of the students so that you can get a feel for what this looks like for the students on their end when they log in. So this is the landing page for a first grade student. This is what it looks like. And right here, front and center, what Daniel here is able to see is that he has three new assignments. 
and what I see is, oh, a day in the park. That's the one that I just assigned. So here, uh, he's even able to see when it's due. And right from that screen, he's able to jump right into the content that was assigned by his teacher, Ms. Sanchez. And again, what you're able to see here is that this is separate, right? Teacher assigned. This is separate from what Daniel would be working on in his learning path. His learning path is down here on the screen right here. So again, assigning content, uh, searching content, the content can be searched uh, through by the teacher uh, within exact path, and then it can be used for any number of purposes. Uh, specifically can be used for small group to support instruction, large group to support instruction. But what I showed you here today was how it can be pushed out to specific students, perhaps the entire class, or maybe even just a select number of students based on uh, what it is that the teacher is working with um, that particular student on. Thanks again for taking the time here today. If you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. More clips like this are going to continue to be rolled out by Kevin Gallman and myself. And as always, please reach out to Kevin or myself if there's anything that we can do uh, to support you and your instructional initiatives in your school or district here in the great state of Illinois. Thanks again for your time and I hope you have a great day.